going to be palpating pronator teres. We have four superficial muscles coming off this medial epicondyle of the humerus um, by way of what's called the common flexor tendon. So this is the first of them, which typically is considered the most lateral of that group. Pronator teres has two heads. So one of the heads called the humoral head will be originating here off this medial epicondyle. I'm gonna start by trying to palpate that. So I'm gonna bring her into a neutral kind of thumb up position and she's going to be turning her palm face down against a little bit of resistance. Go ahead, excellent. So right away I can start to feel the roundness, the teres component or tubular of teres and pronator teres here. And we're gonna get her relax. So this is the first origin in belly. Now the second origin is actually quite a bit deeper. So what I'm going to do is first passively flex her elbow up, softening up the forearm muscles here and that biceps brachialis area. I'm going to take one or possibly two fingers. I'm going to curl down and sink down towards the coronoid process of the ulna. With my other hand, I'm going to add some, a little bit of resistance to her radius as she turns over into pronation. So I'll give her a little bit of resistance. Good. And as she does that, that second deeper attachment is going to start to stick up a little bit and relax. And let's do that one more time. Good. So the coronoid process is quite deep on that proximal part of the ulna. So again, you may not feel its projection itself, but we're trying to get the deeper belly. Just take due caution because the median nerve does go between those two heads. So as you're palpating this area, just make sure you're not compressing the median nerve as you go. And again, get her to do a little bit of pronation against my thumb here for resistance. And I can easily outline the pronator teres as we follow it lateral. And it's heading towards the radius. It's often inserting halfway down the radius, so mid lateral surface of the radius. And some will refer to that as the pronator tubercle. So again, if you pull against me gently, excellent, and relax. As you sink in, you should be able to kind of cross fiber those oblique components of pronator teres. As pronator teres is starting on both humerus and ulna and inserting on radius, its primary function is obviously in its name, pronation of the radial ulnar joints. But because of that humoral attachment, it will also do flexion at the elbow. The pronator teres is innervated by the nerve that passes between its two heads, and therefore that is the median nerve. 